Uh, now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James, the younger, and Joseph and Salome. Then these used to follow him and provide for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. When Pilate wondered if he were already dead and summoned the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he leaned from the centurion that he was dead, Pilate granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph brought a linen cloth and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth and laid it in the tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. Together, let us gather beneath the cross of Jesus and sing of it in hymn number 92.
On the day of Palm Sunday, people placed before our Lord their cloaks, their garments, their branches, their palms. We have placed before God our offerings, and we sing of God's glory. and we know that conflict, dissent, anger, fights for power continue to this day. Remind us, O oh God, of the futility of our warring madness, our lobbying for power, because you, O oh God, reign supreme. One day, all knees will bow and all tongues confess that you are sovereign. Until we reach that day, O oh God, we pray that you so infuse our hearts with the spirit of peace that we, in addition, to branches and garments would lay down our weapons, that we would release our hostilities. Lift us, O oh God, as a people of peace, 
in our homes, in our communities, in our nation, and in the world. And where there is so little peace to be found, O oh God, send your disciples as brave, courageous ambassadors of hope and remind us, O oh God, that you have called us to be your disciples. We lift these prayers in the name of Christ who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us conclude our worship by singing, Were you there when they crucified my Lord? The number 101.